Okay, welcome back. Are you ready for some entertainment? I know Tao Tsun in chat is not, because he's come back for Rostov, where we've had two whole episodes of Sweet Bugger All happening. But really, it's all happening under the hood. Things are looking pretty alright for Rostov. We have the unanimous support of the Ottoman Empire, the PLC, and, most importantly, Morocco in our bid for independence against Muscovy, who is very keen on integrating us and would have done so a long time ago had it not been for our very brave and tactical decision to uh, develop into the sky. Thankfully, Rostov, our capital city, is grasslands and that has been made more than possible. Are we going to see a wrong, wronghold style fake out here? You just missed it. So, what's the situation right now? Well, I am getting my troops hopefully into position so that I can run very far away from the Muscovite Death Force. Whilst uh, I obviously do all the commanding as my faithful allies come to protect my sorry ass. So, I don't see much reason to hang around here, except there was one thing I was really banking on, if I recall, and that was trying to get the Danes on my side. Now, I'm fairly confident that I will not get them on my side in any reasonable time frame unless somebody does me the great favor of annexing the Chironic Order. And the Chironic Order have an alliance with one of their neighbors and truces with the others for a considerable amount of time, so... Yeah, that's not going to happen. Brandenburg might hate them, that would be nice, but unlikely. The other two Diplo slots are covered with Norway and Sweden, so I don't see myself getting over the Diplo relation malice there. Never mind that then. And, you know, it's not like Scotland's going to come in and kick their teeth in, so that's a shame. Right, what are you up to, little buddy? You're up to running away over to Livonian Order. The problem is, if my troops hang around here... Well, Muscovy is going to come and destroy me. If they come and if they hang around here, Muscovy is going to come and destroy me. The best thing I can really do for them is just run away as far as possible. And once I do that, I will assess the situation. Can you scorch your land, Jake? It's possible, but I have accepted the fact that Rostov is simply going to fall. That's okay. Now, I don't want to move a muscle until the Ottomans have finished up their war with Venice. And even so, I think we saw this last time, Muscovy are right there on uh, Tech 7. So the Ottomans... I think I can trust the Ottomans to defeat them. How are we looking? Oh, i got humanist ideas. But the Muscovites have economic ideas, so it's not like... Uh, it's not like they've got, uh, got defensive or anything like that. So I'm going to want to improve relations with Denmark just in case. And I already got what I needed at Poles, so I can stop that. Now, I'm not jumping right into it. There's just this feeling in me that uh, I'm missing something here. Something real bad. I mean, sure, I'm missing uh, all of the Scandinavians. They would be great here. But like I said, that's not going to happen. Is there anybody else who would consider helping me out here? Well, the Mameluk Sultan, as I said in my poem, he's rubbing his hands, but not for helping me, I don't think. Otherwise, the rest of these guys are so far gone that it's not even worth looking at. Great Horde, not so great, after getting Crimea and the, uh, the Sultan of Kajan... Not going to happen, although not that far off not happening. I mean, they just have to not join one of these people in a war. So, you know what, to the point where I'm thinking maybe it's worth my while kissing up to them. Scintillus, I can't believe it's been a year either. How about the Hansa, Jake? Yeah, Lubeck are not all that interested in me. Go figure. But then Lithuania and Poland are. One thing I'm not very interested in is their lack of miltech, but... Well, I mean, you've got seven and dip, all right. And they both share that kind of crappy king. Here's hoping that they can make it to seven. Uh, yeah, maybe I could get Kazan. The thing about Muscovy is Muscovy on very hard mode always punch so hard, and yeah, the Ottomans would have a long way to go. I do. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a wuss. What can I say? No, no, let's not put it like that. I am, um... I am getting the most out of my masterful diplomacy. There we go, we'll pull the Juge Liang line here. 
I want to make everything just right because if it all fails, then I'm pretty much back to square one. I'll lose my independence supports and all that. Um, so I want to keep my eyes to see if I can grab Kazan. I mean, hordes never stay at peace for that long, so surely something here is going to break. And then I should just be able to get over this. Possibly, maybe. We'll see what happens. Don't think I need my advisor here anymore. Although I do fear that kicking him away will make people not support me anymore, but uh, what the heck, I like money. Uh, maybe you should stick on the de- nah. Nah, I need you as a wild card. The sooner you get Annex, the sooner you can play Patrician 4, Jake. Get to it. Oh man, okay, we'll speed up then, because you make a very convincing argument. I want the Ottomans to be done with this. The o hmm. Did I notice that last time? I don't know, it's been a few days. The Ottomans are allied with the big blue blob. You might say that I'm allied by proxy, but uh, we don't play by those rules. Scotland going ham, England failing, Austria imperially liberating Salzburg. Sadly, Brandenburg not getting involved in that. If Brandenburg were to get involved, then that might split them up from Denmark and allow me to get the Danish pain train on my side here. You did notice it, Jake. Okay, well, I unnoticed it then. It's one of my specialties. So I want the Ottomans to finish this war, maybe get uh, get some of their muscle back, and then it's time to destroy the Muscovites. But remember, I'm in no great hurry here. Why would I be? Uh, I wouldn't mind some more of my claim magic going on. I have these until 1504, it seems. All right, no, that's, that's pretty awesome. It's pretty damn awesome. I think a wild card is more important, but you can't go wrong with a spy network, because the spy network can tell me if Muscovy end up going to war, and that would be gross, speaking of great. I'm not sure I need this pop up, popping up and pausing anymore, but... Necropointe, Desario, Corfu, and Naxus to the Ottomans. And war reparations. There's hope for the, uh, the big green blob yet. So good job. Mehmet is still in charge. Long may he live. He's a militarist. Long may that be the case. This isn't so nice, though. Uh... Yeah, I mean, sure, I could go for losing some inflation. It's not like uh, boosting that is too big a deal. I do like having Diplo points, but maybe I don't want the burgers uh, being too mad with me. Always want that general, though. We're still, we're still rocking this guy. He's pretty good. And I think I was already... Oh, no, I was not enjoying Prosperity. Prosperity on this 42 development province wouldn't be all that bad now, would it? But since I'm going to uh, chunk my stability when I declare, it might not be too bad a thing. Claim some of Tver, Jake. Mm, I'm not seeing the use in doing that right now. Tver are allied with Muscovy. So when I declare, I'll be fighting them as well. But on the flip side... I wouldn't even be able to take this land, would I? Because I wouldn't be independent. I remember back when I played Mazab, and I just conquered all this whilst remaining a subject. And I remember Wiz going, so I see you uh, conquered land as Mazab as a subject. Like, yep, he said, well, that's not going to be possible anymore. Good times. I mean, what are the Muscovites up to, anyway? Aside from trying to integrate me. Allied with Tver, married to Ryazan. So are they going to marry them? I like that their mission is to conquer Tver, yet they keep that alliance. That might actually keep them restrained a bit. Balanced personality over in the Teutons. I hope he's balanced for kicking out Danes. Yeah, sadly, the Danes don't see things our way. Timurids and Crimea done. Kajan. Kazani truce over. I wonder if that means that Muscovy will go to war with Kazan. I have plenty of liberty desire to attack him if he goes ham on those guys. And that would be perfecto opportunity, I would dare say. Where is the patrician, says Sleppel. Well, uh, apparently I'm playing Europa Universalis. I hope that remains the same. If it isn't, then it's uh, Twitch that's the one break and not me. Wait, what? What? Okay, there's bad situations 
And there's really bad situations. Hungry ball. Okay. That's really ugly. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's very not good. So they have the tech. Uh, Hungary and Austria are going to uh, butcher Poland here, which is extremely bad news for me. Hungary screwing you over yet again, Jake. I'm into that. And the Ottomans are going to war as well, so they would be a bit distracted right now. Brandenburg and Teutonic Order are no longer rivals. It's very important to keep my eyes on the Danes here because the situation never changes for that, and I want to be there to exploit it. Kazan almost liked me quite a lot. Neutral towards me, but rivaled with Muscovy, and that helps out a lot. Alright, so what's Hungary going to do to the Poles? Poland, Moldavia, Lithuania, and Bohemia. And by also in general is now dead. Okay, that's far from good. Time to invade Hungary, Jake. Do it. Butcher them. I wish. Alright, so the Ottomans are a bit busy. And I hate to rely on the Danes. I do love having one stability. I should remain on that, because if I can get the uh, Scandinavians in, then that'll be Muscovy hit on two sides. A little scared about this, though. I hope Poland do the smart choice and sell out completely for Bohemian lands, because Bohemia sure isn't supporting my independence. And I somewhat doubt they ever would. Uh, maybe I should just maintain you. What are the Muscovites up to? What are the chances of you going up to 99.9% .9 annexed again? Hey, now I can develop all the way to the moon at this rate, so I ain't scared of that. I am scared of them getting some really healthy ally. So Muscovy is... Seem to have awfully good relations with the Hungarians, and they are friendly. Same with Brandenburg. What uh, kind of nonsense is this? Okay, but things looking real ugly for Poland right now. Well, I doubt the Hungarians are going to make them not be my friend anymore. Well, what if they do? That would be the worst. Well, they're not taking Polish lands. In fact, war score not looking so good, but... That's because the Poles took Vienna? Holy smokes. I mean, they're not going to hold... Uh, not the Poles, the, the Bohemians. I mean, they're not going to keep that, but that's impressive. At this patch, I think Muscovy starts with too many vassals to pick up allies. It was already hard to get European allies before the patch. Muscovy does not need European allies. Far from it. Okay, as expected, Austria got that back. Damn, this is bad times for my allies. And I don't want to rely on the Osman Oglu. Oh well. Full steam ahead. Oh! Well, Muscovy supports me in my endeavours to kill them, which is very nice of them. Must be all that spying I'm doing on them. Actually, why did he do that? Oh, he's an embezzler, so... Uh, boy, that doesn't make much sense. Maybe he just really likes me. I mean, why wouldn't he? It's me. Okay, um, fair play, they're winning. Kind of. And what is this? No, it's just Hungarians. Uh, in the light of me potentially winning something, I want to reduce my aggressive expansion impact, but I think I'll wait on that. Never know when the situation might turn. England and Austria no longer... Ooh! Ooh! Okay, so I'm capped on the admin. I should probably just tech up. I see a little reason not to. And... Money, prestige, or prestige, and... Level 2 guy who's cheaper. I mean, 15 prestige is really nice for somebody that utterly lacks prestige, so thanks a lot. Alright, these ex 
exciting times are surely going to come to an end at some point, right? So Muscovy's queen is an administrator, so they're not so keen on war. But it seems like Poland and Lithuania pulled out the mill for this. Come on. You can lose, but don't lose horribly here. I still need you to uh, have an army worthy of saving my ass here. They secured the fort over there off of Poland. But they must be getting tired by now. Huh. The, the trouble is if they take Sandomirs, which is right here. It's covered by Krakow, sure, but they could take it and that war score will go kaput. At least I can save up my money just in case I need to throw it at Danes. And yeah, my stomach hurts at that thought as well. So Hungary grows ever stronger, my potential allies grow ever weaker. Come on, peace out, you useless people. War score's gone up to 20, so this war must have been dragging its heels by now. I like the fact that I've got the happy Russian. Uh, that, that little guy cracks me up. And this big guy is going to crack me. The direction is uh, open to interpretation. Burgers, other things... Does that mean that they like me enough to give me, uh... Well, they can give me Dosh. They need more influence to give me the points. Oh well, not to worry. Jeez, Max. Give it a rest. Okay, speaking of resting in pieces... Yes, that's excellent. I mean, Poland must have spent quite a lot of resources there, which I don't like. But they got out of that somewhat scot-free. I mean, White Peace, do they have any other enemies that are likely to attack them? I don't think Crimea is going to go in for the kill. Kazan have kept all their allies here. Jake, the Steam title says you're playing Patrician. Okay, so that clearly tells me that uh, this did not update. Nope, it definitely did update. So that's on... Uh, that's on... Something else's end, but not mine. Okay, I lost my train of thought there. What was I even thinking? Okay, apparently of increasing Tver's opinion of me. That's uh, next generation strats. Now, I highly doubt... No, there's no way they'll support my independence against their own ally. Alright, Poland, I should give you a bit of breathing space to actually restore... Oh, administrator? I don't believe that for a second. Dimitri is a militarist. Also, hitting that cap once again. Shame it's not a money cap. Let's get those financial gains. Big trains, financial gains. Oh man. Oh, oh man! Okay. I mean, that's not particularly great. Infantry, fire, cavalry. No, no, no. That cavalry shot's pretty nice. <sighs> Pull that trigger. What kind of an army do the PLCs have, anyway? Military army. Uh, thanks for sure. Oh, okay, that's tempting, isn't it? Poland not so hot after being rolled. How about Litauen? How about Litauen? Yeah, I've seen better. Question is, do I give them some time? Okay, well, I need to give them some time. The Ottomans are uh, somewhat busy right now. Pull the trigger, they say. Title is still saying creating perfect hands of playing Patrician 4. Okay, well, I guess Patrician is messing up. Um, yeah, Patrician is always messing things up. I guess Twitch is messing things up here. Hmm. Come on, Ottomans. You've clearly crushed Kuyunlu. The Ottomans also started their Golden Age. Is that right? the best way to check that. Let me think. Golden Age gives... Morale, morale, power cost. Goods produced. Good way to check. Golden Era for the Ottomans. And since that lasts at least... Well, the last 50 years. Then I can be pretty confident they're still in it. Alright, they're going to wrap up that war. And the PLC will get a bit of time to repair right now. As long as they don't go bumbling into some war. And then it's time to destroy the Mus. Oh, well, that's just glorious. 
by Glorious, I mean by a terrible ruler. Alright, Ottomans, come on. You've clearly crushed them. Stop, stop, they're already dead. Meanwhile, check in with the Danes once more, and they go, nah. Check in with uh, Kajan, they go, nah. I really can't get too greedy here, I couldn't have asked for much better here. They sold a province to Pomerania. Are they have another embezz- oh my god! <laughs> Will the embezzlements ever end? This also tells me that they're in debt, which doesn't surprise me from their constant beatdown. But it doesn't matter to me if PLC just die after- the well, no, it will matter, because I can't crush Muscovy in one war. They're like a five-war job. But I can disembowel them when it comes to fortifications. I mean, I'm in, a, I'm in a great place to make Mozak, Moskva, and Yaroslav, which opens up their entire country. Or at least so I hope. And they're allied with, ha, Ryazan to there. And since they have me as a subject, that's three. Of course, they could always get uh, could always get more. I'm just hoping and praying that they don't. Hungary would be a real piss take if they did. Come on, Ottomans, finish up your war. We've all had fun, especially me, but it's time to finish this. Novgorod's over. Okay, something is stirring. They're going to attack Novgorod, who have absolutely no allies and will not in any way inhibit their ability to fight some wars. How's Morocco doing, Jake? Well, I can't really be sure, but I'm sure they're doing grand. <sighs> I'm being told we could do with a bit less music volume. Alternatively, I could, you know, bring the microphone a bit closer there. This is a perfect viewer reduction strat. As long as you break Twitch into showing patrician, you can quietly play EU4. That's true, but I don't get it. Let me try and refresh this once more. Shame about the people watching this on YouTube later who's like, I don't care. I'm not watching this here and now, but... Nope. I mean, I couldn't update it anymore. I am clearly playing uh, Europa Universalis 4 right now. And it's telling me it's updated, so too bad. Alright, worst case scenario for me, I think, would be if Novgorod were allied with Poland or Ottomans. Because that would pull them into a war and uh, destroy their helping of me. Money? Yeah, I got money coming out of my ears here, come on. The ta oh, right, I got exiled. Um, that's all the more reason to march off down into Poland. Where I can potentially be safe from... Uh, actually, it doesn't really matter where I go, I am uh, I am this. This is good. Jeez, come on. You're a conqueror. You should know exactly how to just take all this land. Mehmet is in his 50s by now, surely. No, we're celebrating Mehmet's 60th birthday. Uh, Poland just don't go into any wars right now. Danes, still being Danes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight provinces. Right, now what are the odds Ottomans just get themselves a Tonkin coalition and... No? Okay, great. Ottomans, repair yourself up, get back into position. I imagine it'll take like half a year for the AI to just sort itself and then it's time to go for it. Donimo is asking about Mayo and taxes again. Uh... I would like to, but there is simply not the time there. Not right now, at least. Okay, well, they just annexed the rest of Novgorod, which is a damn shame, because that makes Muscovy ever stronger. Not that they took particularly amazing land, but they still took more land, and that's what I could do without them doing. But they still don't have Tech 8, because they don't have the Osmanoglu, clearly. Then again, didn't I give them... Uh, yeah, I gave him Renaissance. You know who didn't get Renaissance? Oh, well, you did. Lucky you. But, uh... Oh, well. You must have it, surely? Of course you do. Oh, right, no, you have it embraced. I'm just talking talking bollocks here. Nothing uh, particularly new, I'm sure. Okay, the Danes are never going to help me out here. Kazans are slow to, uh, to be on the uptake, so how about we pull this trigger? I want to be. I want to have a quick check on the Ottomans once again. You are my hero, right? In shining armor. 
Since you're a Mercs, I can safely assume you're doing fine on the everything front, except that's a lot of cab. Whatever, let's do this. We've been uh, prancing about for much too long. I'm gonna pull you, and I'm gonna say... Mm, I don't think Ryzen or Tver are gonna cause me many problems. But there's not much worth in putting them as co-belligerents, because as I said, I can't really uh, annex them. Can't take their land. It's kind of a shame about Ryazan, actually, because I would love to take these province, these two provinces, border him and eat him up. But you can't do what you can't do. Let's go for it and uh, pray for the best, right? Maybe it's better Twitch TV that's messing up, says Blondie. Eh, who's to say? All right, Morocco, you can uh, you can be the one to save me here. Let's eat those stab effects. Let's eat that everything. Actually, didn't I not have my morale up? Ha! My fort's going to be a piece of cake to take. Ottomans, Poland, Morocco, they're all in. I mean, my garrison is there. It can't not be there. But how about we make things just a little bit harder for you to take? It's not that defensiveness. It's not like that cost is going to hurt me too much. Okay, I have an army. Not only that, I have a force limit again. Unfortunately, I won't be recruiting anything around here. Raz and Tver are involved. The numbers look pretty good on my side. But we'll see just how long that lasts. There's something that I have not considered here. And looking at Hungary has just reminded me of it. Hmm. I hope I'm wrong here. Poland and Ottomans versus Muscovy. Poland. Ottomans, Musk. Someone could intervene. It's just in time for the ass, ass, ass song here. Hungary is prime contender. England, t Timurids? They can't be serial. They hate the Ottomans. They might just do it. If they do, well, I'm going to be a very sad, sad man. Okay, I can't really do much until I unexile myself, and I'm sure not doing that in Rostov. Come on, Ottomans. Hungary has a truce, I don't think anyone... Okay, yeah, you're... You're right for a couple of years. Okay, Timurids just got themselves into another war. Thank Christ for that. Go, my auto friends. Go. What fantastic music for the uh, for the situation. Check which great powers like or hate Muscovy. Well, I mean, he doesn't really have many friends. He hates England, so England won't get involved. Not that, not that I think it would matter at all if they did. Five shock general, man. That reminds me of when Starnan was playing in the Indian Thunderdome. He rolled for um, an estate general, and all I could hear from his uh, his desk was. Fem shocker, fem shocker. And uh, that's when I knew that I was in for a bad time. He rolled a five shock general for those that don't understand that garbled nonsense. Much like Sivas or Dusu here. Well, go and deuce these guys. Uh, okay, so I'm very liking that morale difference. Here's hoping they melt before uh, reinforcements arrive. Sh ooh. Shocking results. Okay, Kazan's going to war with the Great Horde, that's fine-ish. Lithuania dealing with Tver, also fine. Getting reinforced by Muscovy, that is very not fine. But it looks like the Ottomans are in on full force, and well, damn. I take the gifts in raw cash from Muscovy, I take the, um, take the subsidies from my friend, and I might as well just uh, pump into this. Got them. Got the tech to spend. Why don't I? Might be worth getting one of these. You know, younger is better, but hmm. yeah, I'm looking at this more <clears throat> from the points perspective. But some prestige is always good, and I'm going to need that admin where I'm going. <clears throat> Assuming that I win here. Sorry, that's. Uh, I'm getting all teared up at the thought of surviving in one shot as Rostov, but let's not. 
let's not ruin things here. So the Ottomans are making their way in, which is grandtastic. You know, the sooner they get Ryazan out of this war, the better, but I really don't want my land occupied forever. Oh, no. See, when I said I'm sure there's something I'm not taking into consideration here, it's about to really tell that I never play as the Ottomans. They have Terra Incognita here. Look at this guy. He won't arrive till the 15th of April. Meanwhile, Lithuania just rolling on in, getting themselves killed. That's what one might call very bad news for me. And I think I'll go in so that my troops can at least help a bit. But no, that's really quite bad. Should probably get my uh, stability up whilst I still can. Yeah, before, like, other factors end up destroying that. What ideas are you thinking of getting, Jake? Yeah, you know what? We're going to take religious, just for now, because that is the best ideas. Sorry, the best events stemming from it. It's not like we're about to go all deus vault here, but it gives us something. Okay, so the Ottomans... I don't know where it stops for them. Okay, the Poles just like to stop by crushing themselves into their armies here. 34 and 40 are not great war enthusiasms. Okay, so you're going to work on Ryazan. I don't mind that at all, as long as you keep your units together. I am going to jump onto Ryazan as well, as luck happens. And I want them out of this war ASAP, because they bring in troops that I don't want. And they're barely in this war, which is nice. God knows why, but it's probably the overwhelming might of my arm. Why do you get that, Lithuania? Okay, I can deal with that. Poland want nothing out of this war, neither do the Ottomans. That's the best case scenario for me. Okay, so I get myself unexiled here. Great. Let's go and take some land. Now, of course, there's the whole uh, fort thing. Might be better if we all just go to Tula. If I get two occupations on this guy, plus the one in the south, that's probably enough to get him out. And then again, you surrendered there, so take the long way, even if you must. I just hope that uh, these guys don't come in and ruin my day. We get these suckers out of the war, then it allows the Ottomans to move on in, break on through to the other side. I mean, he's completely under siege, and once he's mostly under occupation, he should pop out for a white piece, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I would take war, th uh, war reparations if he was offering Golden year for the Portugals. Poles, on the other hand, well, it's never golden times for them. Okay, that's not quite enough to get these uh, these jokers out of here, nor do I have enough units to actually siege this man down, nor do I have access over there. Maybe I could get to work on a siege myself, though, actually try to contribute something to this war, instead of sticking around smelling my own farts, which is what the, what the Rostovites have done well so far in this campaign. Jake, I fought nearly the exact same war earlier today. In 1481, Ottomans made their way north to about Totma. Because I know where Totma is. Oh, well, that's promising. Doesn't mean they're going to be slow going, sadly. Alright, so we got that back, but I really want you out. Minus 12 for you. I mean, I could give you some reps and some dosh. Possibly, maybe. Just how much money do you want? <laughs> will not betray their ally for gold. Oh well. Whatever you say, friend. Alright, so the Lithuanians are getting their asses kicked here. Nothing new. But Moskva is going down. And you are also going to be going down. As soon as your capital falls, which may take a bit of time. But I really need these guys to stay enthusiastic. I mean, Lithuania we don't care about, but Poland we care a lot about. Spy network construction plus 20. I actually want that on uh, you right now. But I have all this spy network on you, so why am I not uh, keeping that looking good? Looking cool, even. Something, something. Joker. All right, the Ottomans are here to prove their mettle. They're probably going to get involved in that battle, but they're probably going to be too late. But they're also bringing a lot of meat there. 
And I like that. I like auto meat. Right. Oh, that, that I don't like. I'll be there on uh, the very soon of September or November or something. And I can't get out of there in time. Which is what one might call really bad. Best case scenario, he takes Moskva in uh, one day and then goes to save my sorry bottom. Because I can't get there in time. I should have seen that coming, but I didn't. I? So he's probably going to kill me. Well, he took it. He's coming, but ah, oh, it's terra incognita, so he can't make it in time. Well, do you like stack wipes? Cause you're about to see stack wipes. All right. Well, I was able to save myself, kind of, and I might have even delayed him long enough. Wow. Okay, we are out of there. Alright, nope, they're going for it. See, I softened them up so much. See, I said you want to see stack wipes. You're still not getting to see them. I have an idea. It's all about the micro exploits, you see. Oh, shoot, I just walked straight into that. So I said, do you, you want to see stack wipes? Because we're going to see stack wipes. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oh well. Uh, what can a man do in this situation? Other than uh, keep dying a lot. Well, we can spend a lot of money on mercs that we won't be able to use. Also, I'm capped on, uh, on that. I'm probably going to need that for reducing war exhaustion, so we'll keep the dip for now. Alright, so I'm kind of impressed with myself for what I managed to pull off there. Now maybe I can get some friendlies to attach to me. Especially when we use my amazing general here. Otherwise, Ryazan, do you feel like getting out of this war? No, no they do not. But I could help you out actually with a, a bit of siege there. Okay, Lithuania is trying to, starting to tap out. We need war score here fast or else things will not go well. And since my capital is falling, well, my capital fell long ago, so they're getting a uh, ticking war score on that, which is bad news for me. Ryazan is down. It gives us a nice chunk of war score to keep people a bit more enthusiastic about the war. However, Ryazan contributes a lot of units to this war, and I'd rather they simply weren't there. I could take a lot of money, or I could get a relatively short uh, truce with them. And you better believe I want the latter. I want to be able to eat these guys up when all is said and done. So, kiss goodbye to them. That's good. Unfortunately, I exiled a whole stack of, well, two stacks of Ottomans. Is that three stacks of Ottomans? That could be pretty bad for me. Okay, remember when I said religious have the best events? They also have some not so good events, so I lose one stability. And I uh, can't exactly get out of it just by, hold on. I think if I dropped this and reloaded my save, I wouldn't get this, but do I look like the kind of guy with that kind of time? The answer is I am not. Let's grab this land, let's kill, and let's keep moving. And by moving, I mean let's watch the Ottomans move, because we're not doing any of that in our own time. Get myself unexiled here. You guys are on my side, which is nice. Could go here and siege this, whilst also somewhat keeping you in check, but you also might come and ruin my day, so... There are, uh, there are give and take, to, there is a give and take to that. And this is just the event I can uh, not really care less about right now. But how do the boyars feel? I mean, they're alright. Blech. 
Alright, so somewhat as expected, they're moving on in. And whilst I have many Ottomans by my side, yeah, I've got quite a lot of Poles as well. Are, are we thinking that we can't take them somehow? I mean, I don't want to get beaten down here so hard, but maybe I should uh, should give it all we've got. I believe in the Ottomans. Do you? Okay, I was worried to death there that uh, my good friend might have pieced out there. Uh, but the Polish are not that happy about the war. Not that happy at all. Now, at least they've dropped their siege of Moskva. Holy smokes. I put that down to my amazing general, but we were cleaning up house there. Won't last forever, though. In fact, it's not lasting at all here. We can at least hold out long enough to get the Ottomans on our side. Okay, but my, my units are uh, French toast there. Oh, I don't like the way this is all going. Look at that mighty stack they've got. I'm not sure if the uh, the Ottomans are pulling everything I need together here. New ruler for, uh, for them, and the Ottomans are uh, walking onto a boat. Then they herded them onto a boat. Rebels for the Poles as well, which is less than good. Maybe, uh, maybe you shouldn't be on me. I clearly don't know how to manage your units. Leader died during the battle, Jake. Yeah, that, that was a bit of a kick in the teeth. And it's not like I can get a general ship unless their influence is pretty high, and... Uh, the ability is actually declining right now, so that ain't happening. Okay, damn, Poland is at medium. I need them to not be at medium right now, and I think it's those guys, so... The Ottomans are probably... Okay, they're not helping. Damn. Okay, maybe the Ottomans could uh, pick up the pace here. Because if the Ottomans are out... Uh, if the PLC goes out, then the Ottomans won't have much to run through here. And they move, uh, they move pretty slowly around here. Oh my god, they keep wanting to come after me. <laughs> Lithuania, Lithuania. Okay, more than just a little concerned here. I mean, I'm glad the Ottomans are going to go and mince someone. But uh, the Poles are almost about to leave this war, and that's terrifying to me. Remember, Jake, Nevers surrender. Alright, new militarist on the Ottoman side, but these Poles are just about out. Oh, okay, they've gone up a bit, thankfully. I mean, you can go there, but I mean... I would rather you saved Moskva, since we worked hard for that one. Hmm. Okay, and then also thankfully they managed to get some good land back there. You got a siege general too, which is awesome. Alright, well I'm hoping for a miracle here when it comes to that. Uh, that everything. I don't want you to drop this since it's going so well. But at least Muscovy doesn't want to be in this war anymore. Whew, come on, uh, I need this down and then this to stay, but uh, that's asking for a miracle. There's a lot of miracles I'm requesting here, and I don't think uh, I don't think angels are picking up the line. Yeah, I wonder if this has even more fort defense because of my... Uh, no, my edict is gone. Figures. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, but still, figures. Okay, disease and Moscow went down. That's like worst case scenario. Thankfully, the Ottomans are going in to actually kick some teeth, which is what I've been needing them to do during this. Tver's very existence and all this is uh, agitating as well. But ongoing battles is uh, not working out for us. This won't do me any favors for now. I can always send it back. All right, kind of want you here, uh, here as well. 
Ottoman. Uh, the Ottomans are still pretty keen about this war. I might see if I can get Tver out. I would probably have to take Zobosov and Tver. Oh man. More Poles dying means more Poles probably wanting out of this war. Thankfully them uh, getting their capital back has somewhat kept them in. I think the Ottomans need this one down. Could have jumped on Moscow with no garrison, Jake. Uh, uh, Alright, what's more? Well, I can't even get there, can I? Gotta go to Moscow. As much as I want my own uh, capital back, I can't get there. Moscow's uh, garrison is actually quite low right now, which is good news for us. I don't like the way this is going. Poland's getting super tired of my shenanigans. Well, we need Rostov back, and we need it back fast. Thankfully, the Ottomans have a ton of cannons. If they focus on Rostov after this, then uh, we'll get it back, and we will shift war score by about 20... Uh, okay, not a whole lot. 10. It did hold out for at least a reasonable amount of time. Look on the bright side, Jake. Morocco's war enthusiasm is unwavering. God bless you, Morocco. You keep relative strength of alliances on our side. Oh, I would love to charge this, but uh, perhaps it's not in my best interest. I'm very glad that the Ottomans are going on to clean up house. I'm very sad that they don't have Femme Shock on their side. But, oh my! That was pretty good. Now you have Tver coming in, but you... Okay, it's just grasslands. But you still have Tver coming in. Come on, wipe them. Wipe the floor with them. No, not, when they sh not when they roll that kind of, uh, kind of goodies. Okay. Believe. Who believe? Now, sadly, the Ottomans are leaving us all alone here, which could mean very bad things if the others come for us. But the defenders keep deserting. And then the Ottomans keep killing, which is good. Come now, Moscow, don't, uh, don't tease me like that. That's looking good. Now, as for you, Tver, you're probably not far from getting out of this war. So I'm going to uh, gonna get rid of you, essentially. Okay, we need war score to keep the Poles on our side. Not even kidding about that. We desperately need the war score to keep them on our side. Okay, so Tver is now under siege, so that will get them out. Sadly, that will uh, probably exile these guys, and they'll have to run away quite a far distance. And again, I would actually like you to n not be allied with the, the Moscow, so that I can gobble you up afterwards. It's a question of what's worth it and what's not. I mean, exiling those guys is probably a bad idea, since they're going to have to go far away. But getting Tver's 11 stack out of my face is probably a bigger concern right now. I don't really want to get out of this without forcing Tver and Muscovy to break up, though. Hmm. I'll hold out just a bit. Okay, well actually, if you get out of that, we have plenty of them here. I just want to take this first. And you are going to Rezev, which is also good. You're going back to Kaching, which is not what I'm looking for. Take provinces this war. Uh, uh, take provinces in this war instead of exiling the autos, Jake. Um, well, what? I can't take provinces because I uh, don't. I'm not independent. I mean, how much is this province worth compared to everything else? Probably not a lot. Probably wouldn't be enough to get me the war score that I need. But white piecing you remains uh, keeps you allied to Muscovy. But maybe there's a maybe there's a school of thought that says don't get too greedy here, Jake. Greed kills. Relative strength of alliances will help out big time here. Getting those out of my face. Plus, there are quite a lot of Ottomans around. I'm only exiling 20,000 of them. I think I'll take it. But this is such low-hanging fruit. I'll hold out for it. I need 10 war score to make demands. And that only gave me 3. However, if I bulldoze this province here, 
preferably with my utterly garbage air. Utterly siege-tastic air. And I'll be able to get it. Now, how are we doing with Patriarch Authority? I'm quite happy to keep that going up and up. Okay, now there are the Tavarian guys that I can't stand. And disease outbreak, which is less than ideal. Okay, so war. There's no point paying down war uh, war exhaustion right now. Utterly pointless. I will certainly need that later, but not now. Oh, that isn't good. I don't really want to fight those Tavarians. I mean, Ottomans would probably come in and bust their faces off. As I said, getting them out of this is such low-hanging fruit. I mean, this siege is actually going nowhere. I could probably just run away. Okay, the, the Lithuanians want to fight them, though. Isn't that cute? I wonder if uh, Ottomans would drop their siege of Kashin. I hope not. Ah, oh, man, hope was too much. Still really want out of this. I need that war score. Jake's sun mana. I'm waiting on it. I have an idea if Tver goes down. It's just an idea though. It might not work. Okay, thankfully the Ottomans brought cannon. Just not a lot of cannon. Oh, there's a lot of cannon. Please get to work with that. And this is good. The Ottomans are starting to spread out a bit, getting to know the lay of the land. This is what I need. I need that uh, war score to keep my friends enthusiastic. And I need to get to Rostov. Oh, and I want a spy network on Ryazan. So that I can eat them up post everything. And I also want a spy network on you, but maybe I should keep a wild card for piecing you out. Lovely. But I have an idea. It would be a bit of a bug if it worked here. But just in case... Oh man, I haven't been using my, uh, my free war taxes all this time. What a fool I am. Um... Maybe someone can confirm if it works or not, but can you use the transfer... No, I doubt anybody knows if you can use the transfer subject peace treaty when fighting for independence. I highly doubt it, but it would be really funny if that worked. I kind of want to try it for science. I mean, it would be much better to take the justified wars for what I'm about to do. And I'm going to try this transfer subject. Muscovy, will you... Oh, wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong person. And that's why transfer subject wouldn't work. Damn. I mean, yeah, they probably would give it to me, but I'd have to make it with them. Also, they're not a subject. What the hell was I thinking? I don't even know. For some reason, I got it in my head that Tver was a subject there, so I just wasted my mighty sun mana. Oh, well, you can't win them all. In some cases, you don't win any. I don't really care about being here anymore. I want the Ottomans out of here so they don't get exiled by this. He's out, he's out, and he's out of here. War reparations and no more friendship with Muscovy. That's all I need out of you right now. Jake is becoming DDR senile, it seems. Nothing new there. Okay, that gets you out. That gets your troops out. Give me Rostov or give me death. Probably have me sorted on that front. For the love of God, Ottomans, help me. I need my own home back. We all need me to have my home back. Okay, well, sod you too, buddy. I'm tempted to actually merc for this, but Lithuania seems to like me. Yes, yes, he does. 
He doesn't bring any uh, cannons, love me. But I'll take what I can get right now. If we get this back, war score flips enormously. The Ottomans are chewing up Otto, um, Muscovite troops for dinner. The, Ottoman, the, the Poles have a very strange idea of how this works. They have better tech than you, you fool! Maybe they're just delaying them so that the... Uh, no, it's just some old, 